Hey everybody, this is Mo, and this is Slightly Overwhelmed, and today we're going to be playing a bit of Chernobyl. If you like the content we put out and you want to see some more of it, go ahead and drop us a subscribe, and if you enjoy the video today, go ahead and hit it, give it a like as well, and it helps out the metrics and, you know, shows us what people enjoy. Anywho, uh, without further ado, let's uh, get into some Chernobyl. I really dig their opening, like, menu music, it's just super mellow. I hope the rest of the music follows suit. Alright, new game, we'll leave all medium, go important note. Moments, not notes. Uh, I'm going to assume we can change these on the fly. If not, well, say la vie. Probably where the game's tuned anyway. Let's do it. Oh, the auto save. Holy shit! So loud. Некоторые никогда таки не бросили свои дома, а кто-то даже вернулся обратно. Дети на вывезенные из зоны отчуждения. Демонстрации в разных городах. 10 миллиардов гривен по плату бессрочного договора аренды. Шайка преступников. Они ставят себя выше закона. Что скрывается за засекреченными патентами? Я знаю одно. Саркофаг трогать нельзя. Ooh, is it aliens? I really hope it's aliens. Просыпайся, Соня. Смотри, смотри вон там. О, oh, right, I have the Russian audio on. <laughs> там ты сделал мне предложение. Ты так нервничал, ты был таким милым. Но ты сейчас такой мой дорогой профессор Хемник. Oh. If it's gonna give me names like that, it's gonna be bad. Боже, как приятно вернуться после стольких лет. Правда? I'm gonna do my best to pronounce some of these. <laughs> I know the first damn thing I'm gonna do is, uh, turn this audio down. Holy cow. Игорь, ну что за дела? Ну ты так и не проснулся. Подъем. Очни. Таня? Can I? Oh, we are, we can, no? Таня, прекращай эти шутки. Clouds over Chernobyl. All right. What year? No, we got a year date. Anything like that? Yeah. Monday, eleven. Two thousand five. I don't know. Uh, it was cloudy out though. The consequences of the Chernobyl disaster are appalling. It is only. <clears throat> it is the only case in history when many people died as a result of damage to the reactor from radiation sickness. 31 in a few weeks, mainly due to a radioactive steam burn or exposure to high radiation. One person died of a heart attack, but these figures don't reflect the gravity of the situation. The authorities evacuated 115,000 people within 36 hours who were told they would be unable to return home soon. Unfortunately, that was a lie. The catastrophe has also has huge economic impact. 784,320 hectares of agricultural land and 694,200 hectares of forest were excluded from agricultural production. The Soviet Union allocated almost 18 billion rubles for the removal of the consequences. However, all this fades away from the fact that for several decades to come, people evacuated from Pripyat, a nearby town, will suffer from various types of cancer. Moreover, it is estimated that the number of malignant cancers in the neighboring countries will increase several times, especially among children. Let's see, what else do we got over here? Scientists are national heroes. I thought this said uh, Simon Noob. Anyway. The bright future of science. Professor Gorky Semenov is well known in the scientific community or scientific world for his research on the theory of quantum chronodynamics and in particular for the development of the Polyakov loop theory. The second protagonist is Dr. Boris Glukov, hero of the Soviet Union, who was awarded the Golden Star for his contribution extinguishing the fire at the V1 or VI Lenin power plant in Chernobyl. 
In the world of science, he has been particularly distinguished by his research on the design of the fusion reactor, which is to be launched in Leninsk within a few years. I do enjoy that this paper is apparently torn exactly to give me these two articles. Like, there's not... Like, you can see the letter, the boxing here, like, goes beyond this. So, like, it clearly just goes box, and then this box comes down. This paper is weirdly designed, is what I'm saying. Like, that's a weird newspaper layout. Calling shenanigans. I need to put a sin. Sin in the corner. Been watching a lot of Cinema Sins lately. Anywho, now that I've totally scrolled off topic. Uh, let's go out into this dark dank forest, right? <laughs> It's probably fine. Sup? Damn. Like, this is pretty. Hey, lady. Nope. Ooh. Ah, Jesus! <laughs> ah, I was suckered in! Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, oh man. They've been playing a little bit of Escape from Tarkov lately, and they have a really convenient feature that while you're running, you can middle click and you move your head to look left and right while your body goes to like tank controls. Kind of wandering in a forward direction. Ooh, look at you! All right. And these lightning blasts are intense. Okay. Oh. Oh, no hip fire. I ran out of ammo. I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to that thing. Oh yeah, okay. Like, what? Whoever came up with the set design and set piece here is really... I need a raise. Some kind of public acknowledgement. Be like, look at this. That's fantastic. Anyway. What you got? Hey, spooky tree. I don't know if I'm missing something. Oh, I am. Yeah. <laughs>
That... Awfully threatening. Okay. Почему это место кажется мне таким знакомым? Это же моя старая мастерская. Пожалуйста, поспеши. Неужели ты не видишь, что эта реальность разваливается на части? Am I gonna get a sci-fi horror story? I did not do any real, like, actual uh, due diligence on this game or reading up on this game, other than like. Yeah, I watched like Splatter Cat, Splatter Cat Gaming play 10, 15 minutes of this, and I was like, I'm gonna go play this game. <laughs> I don't even know what he was playing on it, but it was good enough that I was like, yes. Uh, around? Okay. FDT? Okay. Oh, that's cool. I. Lost my ability to sprint. Uh -huh. Okay, let's craft some stuff. What do we got? We got a reality holder or something? Portal generator. Okay. Надо возвращаться к работе. Это единственный способ выбраться отсюда. Uh. I'm pretty sure that is just like a DeWalt screwdriver that has a beer can fashioned to the end of it. Uh, I am so happy I don't know anything. I know that this game has super important decisions. That's about it. Man, there's something about this loading screen that just like poo poos all over my processor, and then immediately we're good again. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Maybe you just put that photo away. Kudos to you, developers. If I sprint, do they sprint? Okay. Still good. They run at the same speed I do. I want to get my boots wet. I see my feet. No. Миша! Миша, ничего не выходит! Нужно отступать быстрее! Oh. Давление падает! Спускаемся скорее! Бегом, бегом! Uh, that means things don't go well. Потом ворон будет считать. Игорь, пора! Через 
Well, that's weird. Uh, unless I'm mistaken, these buildings look different now. Such a fast animation. Friendly fire? Hmm. Oh, F. Oh, control. Gotcha. Let me over. Fine, don't. Oh, my boots are wet now. Damn. Can't you see? I'm not a threat. Uh. And I, okay. No, no, got it. Fine. Whatever. Oh, hey, bud. <laughs> I have stealth takedowns. Fuck, I thought I got caught. I was like, damn! Like, they weren't that sound sensitive earlier. <laughs> I love stealth that it's just like, you can be quote unquote as sneaky as you desire. It appears to be already equipped. Or it's not. Three, six, Can I? I always like seeing what kind of controls I can get away with in a. Cinematic, I gotta wiggle the camera, can I crouch up and down? Do I have a helmet visor I can pull up and down as well? 
Так точно, капитан Оливер. I love that these guys are just kind of dickheads to each other. <laughs> Smart asses. That noise is great. Ooh. He's candy? Yeah. Looting everything. And I love that these guys just don't even seem to care that I'm oh, stuck because of my amazingly high height. Look at this. I am so damn tall. It's crazy. Giant among men. Uh oh. In the pipes? Using that sound repeatedly makes me feel like I'm an inception. Use it after every like epic cinematic and just put it work on people? Goodbye now. Enjoy a little snooze. Really? You don't give loot? Okay. Oh, I thought he teleported. I was like, what the hell? Can I talk to you? Pushing buttons. Yeah. Uh, that one. Flip that switch. Oh man. Игорь, ты там уснул, что ли? Время не ждет. Oh man. Uh. Uh. We trust we're pushing the button. Не обращай внимания. Просто устал. Ну ладно. Let's do it. Конечно. I don't know what this does. But делай свою работу. А я буду делать свою. Тогда вперёд. Oh, that's not good. It just saved. Сущий на небесах, да светится имя твое, да придет царствие твое, да будет воля твоя. 
Ты нас убил, самонадеянный ты мудак! Ты же всех нас убил! I love the effects down this hallway of them running. Yibit, yibit to me. I want this one. This hand size stick. Но для начала исследований мне этого хватило. Может, расскажешь, как работает эта твоя чудо-пушка? Создает э, проход сквозь пространство и время. Червоточину. Прокладывают туннель с двумя выходами. И используют редкий вид энергии, чтобы держать его открытым. Редкий вид? В смысле, чернобылит? Он самый. О, oh, hell. И куда ведет этот туннель? Туда, куда надо. Давай на этом пока и остановимся, ладно? Что, что? Моя невеста. Она исчезла здесь во время катастрофы 30 лет назад. А мы можем о ней потом поговорить. О, Хейл! Ого. Is that a Time Lord? I'm gonna call this thing the Thuddington. Hey, bud. Послушай, я, боже, мне так жаль. Антон был хорошим парнем. Кто этот выродок? Откуда мне знать? Он как-то использовал отрицательную энергию Чернобылита для телепорта, чтобы это подтвердить. Так, стоп. Сейчас не до этого. Он может сюда попасть? И где мы вообще? Мы внутри червоточины, соединяющие две сингулярности. Она короткая и нестабильная. Так что надо поторопиться, понимаешь? И нет, он не сможет попасть сюда. То есть, в теории может, но вероятность низкая. И избавь меня от подробностей. Просто вытащи нас отсюда. Да, хорошо. Сюда. Ты выйдешь возле базы Михаила. Надеюсь. Значит, там и встретимся. Ох, моя рука. Прямо изнутри крутит. Я этого козла урою. Антон, обещаю тебе. О, oh, what? You got your own personal... Man. Ooh, achievement. Black mask wearing mother... Beep. Anyway. Uh... What? Uh, what? I was like, what if I don't go in there? <laughs> so much for getting choice. Jeez. Uh. Cool. Cool. Сингулярность. Разрыв ткани реальности. И основа этой реальности и правда очень хрупкая. Время на исходе, иди. Hey. 
We're just gonna boogie. Okay, so that was like twice as creepy because my computer hung up for just a second and it was like, yeah, so, all right. Сколько раз мы проходили через эти двери, уже не сосчитать. Давай пройдем вместе, любимый. Eh. Сначала нужно разобраться, как снизить уровень радиации. Еще небольшой пузырек. В составе должны быть едит калия, ДТПА и берлинская лазурь. Они помогают при радиационном облучении. Okay. What about now? I just saw my health was lower? Oh, okay. Cool. Игорь, тебя задело. Нужно обработать раны. У меня нет аптечки. All right. Может, получится приготовить что-нибудь на костре. Bro, we ain't preparing nothing until we've collected all this loot. Alright, uh, says no. Cool. Ooh. There, oh. Okay, so the reach distance is actually really nice. I like that a lot. I don't feel like I have to be standing on top of it to pick up the thing. All right, yeah, uh, let's go bonfire, I suppose. I think they've done a really good job with the whole environment and sound and all that. Make some mushrooms. Oh, I need to make a healing spine. You guys require herbs? Yeah, y'all require herbs. Uh... Does this give me radiation? Oh, anti-radiation ointment. Okay. Sure. Oh, it only takes one herbs. Okay. We'll make one of these too. There we go. This should be a good start, right? And I can come in here and I can be like, uh. F? What? Uh. Okay then. I'll keep going this way. Ah, oh, fuck. Оливер, да это же я! Игорь! Чёрт! 
Ностальгия, пароль. Ностальгия, ты же сам его придумал. Oh. Ладно, заходи. Игорь, ты же у нас на все руки, мой. Осмотри здесь. Может, этот хлам на что-нибудь сгодится. Это твоя стихия, милый. Время сотворить порядок из хаоса. I don't know if this Tatiana lady is on my side or what. What are we doing? Scrap all that. Tear out all this trash. Is there more? Thought I saw a ladder. Er, <laughs> Stairs. These are called stairs. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Buildables, decorative items, comfort, single props are not very effective, but decorating your entire refuge will give it some character and make your companions happy. Various structures and machines that help with crafting new items, improving your gear and capacity. Uh, the under base upgrades. F to enter. Okay, alright. Building tools. Sleeping space. Power, air, radiation. Okay, so let's... Set you in the corner. Uh. Everything's F. Okay. Oh, I can stack things? <laughs> <coughs> oh. Uh, I do not have the things for that, but okay. How do I go back? Oh, backspace. I bet that works a lot better. Can I remake that? Do I get to just like build guns? Funky hydraulic press. It allows you to easily and quickly manufacture ammo. Oh. Well, we'll do our gun building stuff over here. Until I forget and put it other places. Oh. Damn it! Backspace, not escape. Those are different buttons. What do I need for a generator, huh? What? Oh, tab. Tab. That means tab. Got it. Do I have any of these? No. Tab makes a lot more fucking sense than what I was trying to do. What? Why would I... Why would I take any one of the lower tiers when I could just... I mean, I just need to find flammable parts. Can't be that damn hard. Am I missing some? Anyway. What else do we have? Power supply, air quality, yeah, okay. Alright, cool. All right, we'll come back to that. Только не говори, что ты решил отправиться прямиком на станцию. А то есть и попроще способы покончить с собой, если что. Нас мало. У нас почти не осталось боеприпасов и... Да всего. Нам нужна информация, прикрытие, припасы. И самое главное, нам нужен чертов план. Yeah, we're gonna hear him out because he's right. Like, 
Будем использовать ее для планирования. Выясним, как пробраться на станцию и найти то, что ты ищешь. Или ту, кого ты ищешь. Каждую зацепку. Все сведения о ресурсах. Все будем отмечать здесь. А действовать начнем, когда момент будет подходящий. Пока что сосредоточимся на том, чтобы закрепиться здесь. Раз уж мы используем этот склад как базу, I do like that I can change my menu down here, but I can't do the da 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 da. Начнем с мест для сна. Может какие-то старые кровати найдутся? Yeah. He's in this position because of me a little bit here. Отлично. Я сделаю все возможное, чтобы помочь тебе узнать, что случилось с Татьяной. Let's face it. Еще кое-что, пока ты не ушел. Оружие Нар имеет биометрический замок. Мы не сможем им воспользоваться. Oh, lame. Так что придется защищаться тем, что есть. Держи. Это на самый крайний случай. Я так понимаю, с оружием ты обращаться умеешь. I'll take the shooty boy. Ну тогда ты готов. Я в тебя верю, Игорь. Like. For sure, if you're gonna be an actual leader, like, you gotta kind of understand that other people get to be in charge, and that you don't have like all of the info and understanding. So like, let some other heads think. Go on heist. Uh, heist. The plan outlining every step necessary to get inside the power plant and rescue Tatiana. This is the final goal. I need to be fully prepared to have a chance of success. If I click on, uh, I clicked on it. Okay. Power plant. Pretend to be a prisoner. Pretend to be a NAR soldier. I love that they're called NAR. These are all things very easy to get. Yep, also easy. I've watched movies before. So anyway. I think this is a good stopping point. So far, this has been uh, pretty enjoyable. Um, so, this has been slightly overwhelmed. I'm Will, this has been Chernobyl. Chernobylite? Chernobyl Chernobylite? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, and if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit the like button and give us a subscribe. Anywho, see you in the next episode.